Let me change my name. Hi. It's being recorded. I don't get my consent. Hi, hi, hi. And I'll remember to upload me, these. Me, up. me, me. Me, me, me. <laughs> Uh, はい、そう。私は最初ですね。あ、サトシたちはバトルフィールドに移動してミュウツーが率いるポケモンのコピーたちとバトルをすることになった。So uh, Ash and everybody um moved into the battlefield and the Pokemon copies that Mewtwo like control like he's like the government commander of them. He um Get them to start the Pokemon battle, basically. They're going to start that Pokemon battle. Uh, Jack, on you guys. Mewtwo to Pokemon no copy tachi. So, she satoshi soda o sweet to sono Pokemon tachi wa feed no. So Mewtwo um, and the Pokemon copies mm. and furthermore Ash and Solo and Suito um, their Pokemon um, were also I'm assuming that the side though is like side. Hi. So both sides of the uh them get kind of so they went to both sides of the field. Or I think they split into both sides of the field. Yes. Hi. But I don't know what Taiji Sudo is. So what direction are they facing? Uh, I'm assuming facing? inside the field. Basically, yes. It basically means they're facing each other. Okay, so yeah. Yes, hi, hi, hi. So basically, Kono image come up, but further apart, probably. Ja, uh, uh, Andrew, on a guy's from us. Saisho no I de wa dare kana. Do you know Darekana? Dare who? Yes. Hi. From who? Uh, it's from not really a from, but like, um, I, I wonder who will, will be Saisho uh, no Aite. I dare have right hand. So, uh, so I dare, um, you can't really look at the kanji, like it's kind of metaphorical because te means hand, but I kind of means like a partner. And in this, in, in this context, it would be like who you're fighting against. I... What would Staisho mean then? So, is it the first? Yes. Hi, hi, hi. The first. So, who's the first opponent? I wonder. Is uh, what he says. Mm. Uh, Ubi. Uh, actually, uh, no, yeah, yeah. I'll do Ubi. Hi. Want me to do this next one? Hi. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mewtwo ga tazuneru to. Okay, so um, I guess uh, referring to the last uh, quote was by Mewtwo. Hi. Um, I, I'm just going to guess uh, Tazuneru is, is one of those uh, speaking verbs. Uh, In this context, yes. Okay. Uh, wait, it's got another meaning? Uh, Tazuneru has two meanings. Uh, it can either mean to visit somebody or it can mean to ask someone a question. Mm. It has those two meanings, which is very weird. So you just have to know by context if he's visiting somebody or asking questions. Okay. It's like, it's a surprisingly common word. All right. 
Sorel no Fushiki Banaga. So um Sorel is um uh the name of the Pokemon is Grass. Oh, oh Hi. uh freaking Venus or oh, but... I'm smart. <laughs> my my did that, so like she's like I guess like came forward. Yes. Hi. Right. Money. Uh, Hi. Just one question. Um, does Tazunedu actually, is it usual for it to appear in Katakana or is it just here because it's like maybe easier? I don't know. I've never seen it in Katakana, but it does have kanji. Tazunedu. Um, sorry, I, I meant Iregana, not Katakana. Um, I would say 50-50. When it, it's a common word, so when it's in a book for younger people, it tends to be written in hiragana. So, like, okay. for example, in my Hamtaro group, Tazunedu does occur inside the Hamtaro books. So it's at a so it's a vocabulary word that also you know, the picture books have that show up in it, and it'll be written in hiragana. Um, I have seen it also inside of Clanad, the visual novel. In which case it was written in katakana. Oh. So both do appear in Japanese, but it just depends, I believe, on the target audience. So if they're so the target audience of Pokemon, they're like, eh, you might not know the kanji, so I'm just not gonna put it in here. No, I, okay. I guess. And I think the Natsume Yojinchon manga um has the kanji for it as well. Which is a little bit older than Pokemon. Like they're both Furigana thingies, but Pokemon, I guess the expectation is kind of low. Uh, height. Um, I mean, Pokemon, in a sense, is supposed to be for kids. So but not. then the greater audience is yeah, like the community. Like an adult. <laughs> totally. Yeah. yeah. It's so. kind of like, sorry, a little off topic, but it's kind of like that meme I remember seeing where it's like the target audience for the Minecraft games is little kids but the actual audience are a grown adults Absolutely. Whereas, yeah, the target audience for call of duty is grown adults while the actual <laughs> players, players are kids, kids. <laughs> yeah so true. i think what's funny also is like smash brothers is definitely like a kids game but really you'll see it's mostly like adult. like really adult like yeah. like they're really into it so listen hi 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 um, Red Pole of Air, Gambaro, Kono Line. Eh, Sakiwa, Yudan, Shita, Kedo, eh, Kondo, wa, so, wa, ikanai, ze. So, who's so, saying that? you two or Soro? I believe it's Soro. Hi. Okay. So, like, he's basically saying, uh, we were unprepared, therefore. Hi. Now, I'm mean, I, I don't know the that word, but I imagine it's like now we're like not, or that won't be the case this time. Yeah, hi. That that is exactly what it's saying. Hi. Nice. Hi, hi, hi. Um, I think I'm gonna have Andrew try this one. Gambaro. I think it has some easy vocabulary. Uh, fushigi ba naga. Fushigaba na gatachi to mari bana to ho ko ho ko o ageru something going up hmm uh, uh, start from the top and then go down so come so, on on this man fushigi bana fushigi bana uh cheat my hand is midori venusol <laughs> Oh. Venusaur. Tachigomori. Do you recognize okay. that kanji right here? Um, stop. Hi, hi. 
So Tachi Domani is basically like the stand in place, you know, you just suddenly stop. Ah, uh, yeah. Stop. Okay. Tachi Domani, he stops. And Bana, something sore, like Venusaur, it sees coal. And say, this is Ita, like a roar or some sound he makes. Yes, it's a, it's the, the whole goal means um, to roar and ageru basically means like to say something, but it tends to be like a raising your voice kind of connotation. Gladly. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's like he loudly goes banana. And it's like banana, banana. 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 <laughs> I don't know. I feel like he has like a banana tree on his plant because of his name. Oh, uh, feels like. Donkey Kong Country or something. Oh, banana. That's <laughs> uh, no banana. So Mewtwo um, faces his Venusaur, who is a copy Pokemon. And um, he, he faces Kao Muke. It's kind of confusing, like, isn't he already facing him? So facing his face and then does a, um, he gives him like the Aizu, the, the sign that he's supposed to do something. So I think it's like, you know, when you tilt your head being like, go that way, you know, as like a sign. Okay. Like a tell. Yeah. Like, it, like you, like you look at someone, you're just like, come on, go. Like you do that like head tilt thing where you're like, go, that, go to the left and you make eye contact with something. Would be my guess. Um, uh, I'm gonna have Red Polar Bear do this one. Hey. Uh, sorry, I can't see. Um, a Fuchigibana no copy. Ega no shi no shi no shi no shi to Noshi noshi is a sound effect, so I'm just gonna cross it out for you. For okay, so Venusaur's copy mm. um, also came out to the front, like like to face. Yes. Hi. So mine did that. Really, just means to come out in front. Okay. Uh, so noshi noshi, do you have any guess what the sound effect is, or do you just want me to tell you? Is it like the movement from? Like, it's the way in which he moved. Yeah, to, that's a thing like that. Well, noshi noshi is kind of like a lumbering movement, apparently. Oh yeah, I always forget Venusaur is like the big one. I always thought it was the second evolution. It's because he's the only one that walks on four, all four legs. I think <laughs> so. He kind of mm -hmm. lumbers about. Um, Jack. So that first battle, um, Venusaur, uh, I'm assuming Tai is versus, so Venusaur versus Venusaur copy. Then we have Ike Banado, which is, you know, go Banado, because Banado is the nickname. And then Hapakata. What? Bernard. Bernard. Banado. Hi. Kind of sounds like Bernard, but what a name. I think they just like Bana from Fushigi Bana and then Do, which is a den to make it. No, that's clever. <laughs> um, but yeah, this, this move is a leaf cutter, I guess. Um, Ubi, on you guys, Hi. Uh, wait, which, which, which line? Uh, oh. after Bana, the okay. no, 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 Right. Uh, yeah, okay, definitely some of these words I'm pretty sure we went over before. 
We definitely uh, have not went over this word. This is a new vocab word right here. Yeah, yeah, that one that like I haven't seen. A deep kind of hoarse voice, I guess. So is a uh, hook okay? Remind me, hook a, a roar or like a? It is a roar. Yes. Okay. Hi. So it's something familiar. Okay. So it's a deep roar then. Uh, oh, well, I get that. Okay. So it kind of raised the or let out a, a deep roar. The, mm. uh, Venusaur. Right. Um, remind me what that move is. Hapa kata. Oh, uh, what's hapa? Hapa. Oh, is that um? That's some sort of okay. That I remember seeing that kanji before. Uh, is that a leaf? Some sort of leaf attack. Yes. So hapa means leaf, and kata is the English word cutter. Oh, okay. Okay. Hapa kata. So leaf cutter. <laughs> okay, leaf cutter. <laughs> Or would be Japanese if not for English. Hi, 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 hi. For America, I'm just joking. <laughs> Happy Fourth of July. Happy Fourth. Yeah, that's right. That was like, oh yeah, that's right. That was yesterday. Yay! Yeah. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, and then o hasha shita. Um, this is uh. Wait, wait. So okay, this is definitely I've seen the one of these kanjis from like explosion kind of. Yes, uh, the first one would probably show up in explosion. I would believe yeah, that. See that one. Um I so Okay, I'm just gonna assume that he's just kinda like let out the attack. Yes, that is what it means. It means to fire or to launch something. Okay. Hi, hi. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, um, I gotta start using the Anki decks. Any of you got, well, for, for this chapter, the Anki deck's not out yet. I just oh, like okay. quickly this morning was like, oh, okay, I just gotta read the next four pages. That's our reading speed. So I, I just looked at the words I didn't know. <laughs> but yeah, that, it's not updated. It's not up yet. Probably by tonight, I'll have it up. <laughs> All right. But yeah, I, I just like was like, oh yeah, I have to go do that. Whoops. <laughs> um, and you guys watch Kimetsu no Yaiba? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yaiba. Yes. Woo, Yaiba. Uh, <laughs> it's just, I know uh, that word. Yeah, it, it's a rare pronunciation of that kanji because normally you just say like ha, you're like ha no yo, which is like the blade, but they want to do Yaiba. They want to be really really dramatic right here so um i think actually i think red polar bear could do this one so hi yaiba, eh, yaiba no yo eh, na surudoi surudoi wa ga fushigi bana no copy ni mu e eh, mukatte ton de iku so I think the only word you don't know is probably surudoi. Uh, I feel like I also I've don't know that, why. I've seen but... that one before, like in my in another book I was reading. It is a very common word, but I do believe it's the first time it showed up in Pokemon Evolution. It means like sharp. Ah, oh, yes. So a lot of times you also will see it describe someone's eyes. Like if they glare at people and say they have, oh, he has such sharp eyes. He's, he's grumpy, you know? Okay, yeah. It's yeah, like, so that's the only one I don't know. I, oh wait, no, I also is moo the the rotation. Basically, um, we is a, so you can see right here we got mukatte and muke. Mukatte kuru no ka. Oh, approaching. <laughs> My bad. Um, so mukatte means to face towards something. So right here we have copy ni mukatte means to face toward the copy. Mm. Okay, so wait. Uh, so the copy of uh, Venusaur uh, with its sharp leaf. Mm. Oh, wait, no, the start of the sentence is. So the subject is not mentioned in this sentence, but the subject um, is Sora no Fushigibana. Okay, yeah, that's right. Hi. Um, I have a question, which okay. is. Kinda unrelated, but you brought Kimetsu no Yaba, so. Uh, uh, <laughs> what does Kimetsu mean? Um, does it mean demon? I, I should look at the um, 
the the kanji that they use. I'll look it up. I'm gonna look it up. Kimetsu. Uh, I, I mean, supposedly no. destroy I and ghost. <laughs> I mean, I think. <laughs> I mean, Jisho doesn't even give yeah, it as a whole yeah. word, so. Jisho doesn't really tell me what it means. Jisho, the kan. I think it might be a made-up word. It has the kanji for demon inside of it, so it might be something like demon blade or something. Okay, so they literally made up the word for. It's made up of the kanji for destroy and and demon. So destroy e demon blade, is the name. So it's a made-up word. <laughs> okay. Kimetsu is a made-up word. Well, wow, I, I can't believe they made up a word for the show. I mean, that's how you get it popular. Do you know if it's common? I feel like it's funny because that? that's a Japanese thing. I can't imagine them if we did that in America. We do or do in exactly. Spanish. So, <laughs> we, we do make up words. We make up words all the time. Like uh, at least when it like, comes to uh, like, <laughs> like fiction. When, when we do okay, maybe I'm not words. thinking of the top of my head. So I'm probably. Yeah, I can't think one on top of my head either, but uh, definitely it exists. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They, they just uh, the first thing that comes to mind is usually like when it comes to like sci-fi kind of like uh i guess yeah. novels and stories they always I guess. Have to yeah like, you know what that like, is a good point yeah name of species of uh, weapons and uh all, all weird terms yeah but yeah i guess i was thinking of it in a different way but anyway <laughs> yeah yeah the, okay back to the main uh, point no so let, let's start with the hot this man uh, that is a leaf. Hi, so surdoi ha. Uh, sharp leaf. Uh, kimetsu no yo na surdoi ha. Kimetsu. Oh, wait, sorry. Yaiba. Yaiba. Yaiba no uh, so the edge of the sharp leaf. Uh, in this case, I think it's like the blade, like um, the yona. So it's like a blade, like so, like a sword. Oh, okay. The so. the the sharp uh leaf is like a blade. Yes. Hi. So that's that. So no, Jibana no copy is obviously Venus or Kant. Hi, ni mukatte. Uh, facing. Yes. So the leaf faces this. Yeah, uh, faces Fuji, uh, Venus or copy. And does this. Uh, flies towards the opponent. Hi. So these very sharp leaves that are like blades are flown toward Fushigibana. Mm. Hi. Also sorry for detracting. Hi. Ja, well, this is a little, everything is learning. Uh, Andrew, onigaishimasu, kono move. Tsuru no muchi. Hi. Fine with. Sure yes, perfect. <laughs> hey. How do you know? <laughs> Checked. <laughs> you had time to do that? Uh, All our rumbling. Hi. Ja. Um, I think it's Ubi's turn. Yay, my turn. All right, where, where, where are we at? Uh, Tsuru no Muchi no Ato. Okay, okay. So, um, uh, Mewtsu no, okay. Mewtsu no Shiji o Ike Fushigibana no Toki wa Senaka kara no bash the suru de eh hapa kata o eh uh, kekiha shita hi okay all right let's see if i how if i can thing at a time hi okay um shiji o uke uh uke is like to receive right yes but so she shiji gets... means um orders basically so to receive orders to receive or oh, okay so order as in like a command yeah hi instructions okay. so mewtwo's uh no no command was received uh mm -hmm. or no fuchigi but no the copy uh received having received the uh order from mewtwo hi, hi. uh from from his back Nobashita, Nobashita, we. Oh, is that Maybe start with Tsuru. Tsuru. Hmm. From Tsuru no Muchi, which means vine whip. 
Oh, okay, okay. So, basically, from his back, I assume the uh, he pulled out his, his vines. Hi. Yes. So, okay. to means his vine and nobashita kind of means like the stretch out. So, it comes out from, stretches out from his center. Okay. 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 And then uh, the, I was, okay, this is the other attack. Hapakata o geki nashita. Geki nashita. Okay. So, geki, geki hashita. The ha, the second kanji, I'm not sure. Mm. I would assume it deflect them or like. So, so surprisingly, I would say the kanji does not help in this case because apparently it means to crush. Because geki means you know attack, and ha means like almost like like an explosion after effect normally. Mm -hmm. You know, like a bakuhatsu has that ha, I believe. I'll, yeah. I'll check. Bakuhatsu. No, I, bakuha. Bak. There's a word that has that. In it that has to do with baku. Oh, wait, it is baku ha. I just didn't stop when I did that, which means a destructive class. Baku ha. Yeah. Oh, oh wait. Okay. Yeah, that has that kanji. I, I don't know. I was like, wait, I didn't write it right. But yeah, so it's like okay. destruction and like geki, which is like front long attack. But apparently it just means like to crush. So basically he crushes up all those hapakatas mm. that are flying toward him. Uh da. So my turn then. Sada ni tsuru no o no bashi, tsushigi bana no karada ni maki tsukeru to taka takadaka ni sorry takadaka to mochi ageru. So um and even and then the vine stretch even further and wrap around tsushigi bana's body and it gets then his body gets raised up high into the sky. To jaku. Onegaishimasu. Uh, Mien ni ni dengwa ses. Uh, Gakuzen to miya gado. Uh, Sora o no mae de. Fushigebana furi oro sare. Uh, Chime ni tataki tsu. Uh, Tsuke rareta. Hai. Okay, so. Uh, so, Miyagadu Sora o no Maede, I'm assuming it's um, in front of Sora who's looking up or yeah. raising his sight. And Gakuzen is. It's like. <gasps> okay, so. <laughs> astonishingly, I don't know if that's a word, but he yeah. became very surprised, looked up well, uh, right in front of him. On this <laughs> and right in, the, in front of him, the Venusaur was Furi Orosade. So was being thrown down? Yes, hi. Okay, and um, Towards the ground, I'm assuming uh, that's from um, like the one you do with drums. Yes, I would say that's probably correct. I don't know much about drums, like I don't know the, the correct vocab word, but that that I uh, I, miss, I would say it's probably correct. It means to like smack. You like to hit something, so hitting your drums that that would make sense. So it hits the ground. Being like smacked into it. Uh, okay. Hi. Yeah, uh, drums. It's tataku. Hi hi. So, so this it, is, is tataki tsukeru. Hi hi hi. That is exactly what that is. Um. Uh, red polar bear. Gambaro. Chikara wo furi furishibi furishibo te karada wo o Koshita Fushigi Fushigi Bana Ga Bana To Hoeru. So uh, Chikara is power, I believe. Yes. So um, 
o furishibo furishibo te um, it means to uh, muster all your strength. So you gather all the rest of the chikara that you have. So he's mustering all his power because uh, he's currently in trouble. Uh, karada wo o... Isn't that the kanji for running? No. No. That looks so familiar. It should be familiar, but hashiru. Oh, to run. run. Hi. That is like okiru, if that helps. Okiru, isn't that to get up? It is mean, it does mean to get up. Or to rate, I guess in this case, he's raising his head. Tabun, karada does mean body though. Oh my bad, raising the body, or getting up. Yeah, so like actually getting up. Koshita, <laughs> Puchibana, and then he lets out his classic phrase. Eto, koeru. Uh, and like recovers. So this this is just um saying this. Oh okay, he's shouting that. Basically, yes. It's like but it's kind of like a dog, like an animal, like oh okay. So uh cry an animal cry versus versus like a human cry. Hmm. Uh, はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。は
And his Shiji in this context is saying, um, Energy Ball. So that energy is an ball. example of a Shiji. Okay. So his instructions, he's yelling out to yes, use yes. the energy ball. Yes. Perfect. Hi. So because it looks like Fushigibana can still fight, he lets out some more directions and tells them to use an energy ball. Now it is Ubi's turn. Yay! Hi. Okay. Hi. Uh, wait, is it Fushigibana, that one? Hi. Hi. Uh, Fushigibana wa okiku kuchi o akete hikari no tama o <laughs> Sorry, it's, I'm just okay. Uh, Tama o eh, Hase Saseru to eh, Energy Boru o eh, Hasha Sta. Okay. I'm sorry, I was just, I was just laughing because of like, man, I'm surprised I'm getting, I'm finally, words are sticking. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, so Fushigibana, uh, so a big, and open his mouth wide, Hi. Uh, and then a ball of light. Um, I say I'm not sure. I'm gonna say it has something to do with being formed there. I don't know. Yes, don't know. that is what it means. You know, like birth and starting, basically. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So like starts to form in his mouth, and then the energy ball, uh, I guess, fired. Yes. Fired up. Okay. Yeah, and you had fired last time in like a sense yeah. a while ago. So nice. Words. Hi. And like here's Bakuhatsu. Ah. Hey, look at that. That nice little hatsu. <laughs> For the creation of explosions. Hi, hi, hi. Uh oops. This one is kind of short, so I'm gonna give it to Red Polar Bear. Uh, energy ball ga fujibana e no copy ni e mei chu shte e bash. Um, so, do you know what Meichu means? I feel like um, I can kind of guess uh, like the two energy balls meet up in the middle, causing an explosion. Sadly, no, but that was actually a really good guess. I want to check if Andrew knows this, because I do know that he sometimes reads Anki decks, the Anki deck I made for this. Does, does this word look vaguely familiar? Ah, uh, I, I only because I just checked it and it. Oh, you cheated! Hi, it, it, <laughs> it means to hit what you were aiming for. So it's absolutely I, oh, like not oh what you God. would expect, because like Mayday and Naka, like it's it's, it's got the kanji for hit in the middle of in the uh, May. Oh, I actually didn't yes, know that. But... Right. So, well, now that you mention that, yeah. It's, uh... hit, hit in the middle. <laughs> Hi. Wow. We learn new things every day. Why does Japan do this? Anyway, <laughs> this is why people have a difficult time. I'm just like, why is Mayday too? Like in the middle of being ordered, mean they hit what you're aiming for. Just kind of nice. So, but anyway, hi, Red Pull Bear. What does this hi. So, energy ball. And then he uh, it hits directly on the, the copy. Uh, yes, hi. Okay. And then explosion. Yes, perfect. Yosh! And Andrew, on the guys, Uh One thing, just tell me, what was the kanji in the middle of? Oh, uh, tadaku. That was um to hit. So tadaku. We saw this earlier when we were talking about. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the, the, okay. the, this, this verb showed up, I think, on the last page. We were yeah, like, and the, to, to the strike stuff. Floor. Yeah, the strike the floor. Hi. Uh. This one is that small, but then I kind of thought about the vocabulary. It's kind of hard. So I think I might actually give this to Ubi because I think oh. the vocabulary is hard in this after like thinking about it a little longer. Okay. Yeah. Which, which line was this? Uh, it's after Yosh. So. Oh, okay. Okay, Yosh. Tegota e o kanjita sora o wa kobushi o Nigiri Shimeta. Oh man, you, you, you're right about that. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 
Yeah, te as in hand and kota. I, I know I've seen that the second kanji before. Oh, well, the second kanji is like kotae as in to answer. Um, um it's, it's, so this is kind of like a metaphorical meaning of that word, kind of. So are you telling me the in that the te te gotae or kanji ta is an entire expression itself? Uh, I don't think it's a expression on itself. Didn't show up in my dictionary. Okay. I know kanji ta is just like to feel something. Right? Yeah. I just feel okay. Yes. So, he feels this. So so what does it mean by then te gotae? So te gotae um, means to kind of like uh to um feel like a response of something or effect so mm -hmm. basically it's saying he feels like wow the effect of my the explosion i guess is what he mm -hmm. like feels and he feels like wow that that was like real you know big explosion okay, so, fe so feeling that uh sort of feeling that uh kobushi nigiri shimeta shimeta is that like to? Oh wait, I know, I know this one. It's not like to. Stop. Is that another word to stop? Is it no? It's not, but I do yeah, I think it. that could have that kind of meaning. Like, I mean, in the left part, I think it's the the sun. It, it, what? Um, kind of like wadu. The the left part of the kanji is the same of this one. Wadu. Okay, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll just I'll just admit that I don't know that last clause right there. <laughs> so, kobushi is um your fist. This My fist. Hi, kobushi. Hold on, so, hold on. I'm I'm going to start making notes of these cuz I during during these other sessions that we've done, I I don't think I've actually written notes. I, I probably should. I mean, theoretically it would probably help. But yeah, I can't I can't really draw a fist, but kobushi this ne. So his so he makes he basically like fastens and his fists together you know he like uh, closes it real hard. Mm. Oh, that's what nigiri means. It's like to to close. Yeah. To to grasp. Sorry. Yes, it, it means to grasp, it was. and shimeta means to like fasten and tighten. So the grasp and tighten your fist. Okay. Okay. Hi. Um, right. I'm assuming this is the same nigiri as the one when you go to a sushi restaurant. I would guess not. Like, really? <laughs> I, I can't. I, no way. Uh, the same from Pokemon onigiri, or... for example. Oh my god, it is. Wait, what? It is. He's correct. Hand <laughs> form sushi. Is it because because you grasp the... the sushi and you pack yeah, it. Yeah, it's like, it's you... the way. Oh my god. The rice oh my god. And also like the, the rice balls as well. Wow. But with the honorific, so it's on the heat. Wow. That is wow. Learn new things every day. The more you know. The more you know. Uh I feel like when they like teach you certain things in class, they should do that. Like when they're like like they like sometimes it'll be like, here's like here's some food names, but they should go into like that type of thing. Like I think it's so much cooler to know, yes. The nigiri is because they're packing the sushi, you know, they're squeezing it. So you get two for one, you know? Hmm. Just being like, yeah, nigiri, that's something you can eat, like sushi. Something I mean, oh well. Another stuff that's kind of random and that can make sense of it, but uh, the kanji itself is like hand and roof. So, so this ne, like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, ne, Maybe. This ne. There's our mm -hmm. roof. Hand roof, so you hand by hand make a roof because you close in. I'd almost be like, hmm. ma. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, when you're making on the gears, like compressing one another, you kind of curl up your hand. So maybe from that, maybe. making a roof with your hand. Uh, I guess it's my turn now. Um, shikashi, bakuen ga. Usurete 
However, once the smoke from the explosion started fading away and you're able to see the Fushigibana copy, you see that um, Fushigibana has not received any damage at all. None. Not even a little bit. <laughs> um, uh, Andrew, kono katakana onigaishimasu. Uh, Hi, you read that fast. <sighs> Leaf storm, I'm guessing. Perfect. Yeah. Oh man, I could not. <laughs> it's like <laughs> words. I didn't look that one up. I didn't. I know, but like, okay. I believe you. Storm. That's exactly what it sounds like. Um, Jacku, onigashimasu. Mitsu no shiji o ukete, fushigabana no kopi wa togatta hade. So, um, I'm assuming Venusaur, the right. copy one, um, took uh, Mewtwo's orders or instructions. And so the Venusaur copy, Togatta, uh, is like um, to spread something, like the leaf on his back. Togat yeah, it's probably the leaf on his back, but it means like to protrude, I guess. So like okay. Uh, oh, it can actually mean shark as well. Oh. Huh. Okay. So the sharp leaf, I guess. The pointed leaf. Whoops. So we got to do it. So to get the high is like the a sharp leaf. Yeah. So with that sharp leaf. Uh, Arashi, is that storm? Yes. Okay. So, in Maki Okoshita, uh, I'm assuming he caused the storm, but uh, I don't know what Maki is. Yes. So, this this is like a like a new like this isn't like a dictionary compound word. So it's like a. Uh, like this makes sense compound word so okoshita like you said means to cause something to happen which would be like the arashi was caused and maki um can mean to twile i mean sorry that that's not a good word uh it means like to wind around something so basically you know like uh spinning around in a circle to you so that's so basically they're making a very like whirling um storm so it's kind of describing what kind of storm i guess so he causes a whirling storm made out of togataha this uh, um did you say that this was actually a compound word or that they were like two uh this is this is a like a fake compound word you know uh you know how like some compound words will like be inside the dictionary and others won't yeah, I mean, I was looking in Jisho and they actually gave me a single word. Oh, what is, what is, this, what is this? And it's like to create, but they say like in parentheses, uh, a sensation. So, right. eh. yeah. and to give rise to controversy. Yeah. Which word? Maki uh, okosu. Maki Maki kos. Okosu. Okay. To give right oh, so uh, it's the one below, which is to break out, to well up, or to burst. So go, go to one word below that. Okoste. I'm okay. I, oh wait. Wait wait. What is? I put okoshita. What does this actually mean here? Oh, what? Hi. This, this hmm? word. Sono. What is what is uh, maki okoshita? What? Remind me, what does this mean again? <laughs> so I said, um, so it's like okos, ok <laughs> it's like okosu, which which means to um to create something to happen. like to spin about, mm -hmm. you know, like. But the second one, which is okoru, fits the the meaning better because it's not really you're not creating a sensation. Oko. I mean, I, I don't know if we're looking in uh, the Jisho mm -hmm. website, but I'm only getting one meaning, sadly. I know, but 
It just the local Sioux. So you did um with the Sioux, which is correct because it's Sha right there. Uh, and that could do that mean, but if you have Okoru, which is with the do, <laughs> the meeting makes more sense. Uh, where am I? We're almost mm. done. Mm. So, yeah, I might I mean let's go, let's go look at this on Japanese Jisho because sometimes. <laughs> Okay. I mean, it's definitely better, but I can't handle that by myself, so. Hi, hi. I mean, you can put Okosu if it helps. Hello, Iblo. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. They're like every time I look at the Japanese like, website, I get totally scared. Hi. Uh oh all right, so right here, the first definition is the correct definition that we want. It says, um, kaze nado, so that's like the wind. Uh, maki yoni, which is like in a whirling way. Um, haki ageru, which um, means to like blow, like strong, like the, the start blowing. Uh, so that's it's interesting that Jisho doesn't have the first definition there. You, you like when um then it's like huh my my emergency G show's not working. When you just like hold shift and it's like hello, kaze means wind. Or it is working, but it's it's sad. It's like I don't wanna do it right now. And it's like here, here's kaze, it means wind. So that's the nice thing if you have um the quick dictionary because you can like quickly find the to win to coil and the last one is fuki agedu i feel like if you didn't know english you would think to wind and you'd be like that's weird but it's to wind to wind i hate uh, that that's a thing in english. english no <laughs> no i is having such trouble to get this last word highlighted i'm just like i want to double check if i was right yeah so it's to uh, blow upward, I guess. I just would be like, start blowing strong, I guess, up in the air. So that was yeah. Really good though. Good good. <laughs> so yeah. I that's, mean, I, think that's I don't know. I think they're all using the, the same Japanese English dictionary in behind. Because when I tried to do just that, but with the uh, Makiokosu, it highlighted me the, the whole expression and gave me the same exact meaning as Jisho, so I don't know. Well, <laughs> what were they thinking? Bad, bad Jisho. I think the second meaning right here, which is omoi gakenai koto hiki okosu. Mm. I don't feel like that's what that means. Omoi gakenai. It's not like things you unexpected things occur to, to cause unexpected things well neither of those mean at all what's in the dictionary interesting uh, <laughs> <laughs> that dictionary Amy is not here okay bad, bad you saw. man I never had that happen where like it's a hundred percent wrong man that's weird uh, I guess I'll read it as Maki and Okosu separately. I, I guess At least I feel like it can make some sense out of it. Yeah. Um, so we have our Saigo no line this ne. Um, I think it's Ubi's turn. Once, once I can get there. Yeah. Let me go see Saigo no line. Ubi. Hi. Hi. Uh, Sasumaji. Susamaji. Kazeni Maki Kamareta Fujibana Ga Chu 
高く飛ばされ、えー、大乗門の、えー、上部に、えー、叩きつけられる。はい。うん。あち、ひさまじ、あ、なあ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、Or dreadful. Did, did we ever learn this one? We did. That did occur at least once in this book, but I think only once. So you said like some like terrific, uh, terrible, something? terrible, okay. uh, so some terrible wind. Uh, Remind me again what maki to come out of that. So I, I know there was a big discussion on this, but I well, it wasn't actually on this word, but it had maki in the front. The bottom was okoru. Right here. Oh,、maki. this is something different. Okay. However, the maki still has the same meaning. So I said this is like, you know, rapping about something. So right here we have the rapping about something plus komareta, which is kind of like when you cram something into something. So in this case, the whirlwind's like directly around、um, Bushigibana and he's kind of like trapped. Do you k o t o Okay. So you can just go like、uh, engulfed in that. All right.、Uh, yeah, he's like engulfed. That's a good way to put it.、Yeah. Okay. Chu Chu Takaku. The first kanji. Okay, hold on. Is this is this all right if I split this into two different kanjis? or That would make sense to do it that way. Okay, okay. So the first kanji. um not really sure what this one means. I know the second one's just kind of like taller, a high amount. That is correct. I mean, recall Mew and Where Mew is. Where is Mew?、Um, oh, I always go like,、promise. you know, Ujujin, 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 Shitimaska. Mew, they were Ujujin g a That's also good. <laughs> That's always, I always go like that. Like, Ujujin, that means I'm、um, aliens. Oh, And, so he's like, so he gets there right now. He's just like somewhere up there in, in the air. Yes, he's up in the air somewhere. Hi. Okay. Uh, Tobasare. So I would assume this is just flying up there. Uh, hi. All right. Uh, Paijomon. Paijomon. It, it, you probably won't be able to guess it by context. Uh, but if you think about like a stadium and there's gates there, what kind of gates would a stadium have? Kind of gates. Like, what, what, would, what would their use be, I guess?、Uh, I don't know. Is this kind of like the, the entrance、uh, of the arena? Yeah. So, Taijo Mon basically is like the exit gates. Like,、uh, okay. when, when you're supposed to go bye bye, basically. Oh,、uh, okay. 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 So, so, so there's the exit gates. All right. So, and then. Jobu. Is that Jobu? Hi. Okay. Jobu is a car. Is the upper. I, I, I can't. I guess it's. I can't do this one. <laughs> it's just upper area. <laughs> oh, that's it? Right. <laughs> Don't、uh, think too hard. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, you can think of like the top of the exit gates. Okay. And then, ni tataki tsuke rareru. And then, tataki was kind of like to hit, I think? Yes. To beat? I don't remember. It, yeah, that's what it is. Oh,、okay. so、yeah, he gets thrown into the top of the exit gates. Huh. Uh. Banado! Guy. Poor guy. And that's where we'll stop for now and we'll begin 120 next time. All right. Hi, hi, hi. Stop. I'm writing some of these words down. I have the book、nice. open so I can, I can do that. <laughs>